Hello and welcome back to the Demis Helen channel. The string of videos that I'm doing at the moment are going to be kept simplified and we're not going to talk about plugins, we're not going to talk about settings, we're not going to talk about what the best presets are and the best synth is. We're going to create music and I think this is something that we all are losing touch with very quickly when it comes to especially Black Friday when there's just bombardments of new plugins and deals and you need this one, this will save your mix. I think we've got to the point now where we're so involved with trying to get the best stuff, we're not focusing on the creation anymore and we have everything we need. You could have bought everything in Black Friday, but you still need more to progress. When you don't, you just need more learning time, more time doing things and just accepting that you're not going to be the best the first time around you do something, you've got to keep reiterating it and redeveloping it and putting it out there for people to listen to and then get feedback. If you get bad feedback, don't take it personally, don't take it negatively. Take that away, regurgitate it as something positive, which is a new track and improve on the things that you did before. So anyway, that's enough rambling for the start of the video. It's probably one of the longest rambles I've done at the start of a video. Let's get started on making something melodic techno-ish. Um, this is something that I'm going to try out. A few people have been mentioning it, so let's have a go. Okay, so media, I'm going to start with the Loop Masters Dead Mouse pack. Yes, it's old. Yes, it's got dated stuff in it. But again, we're not focusing on things that are new, old, mediocre, good, the best, all that sort of stuff. So we're just going to look for things that sound good. So let's have a listen to some of these kicks. That first one sounded pretty nice. one just back here. Let's try that one for now. So I'm going to create a sampler track. Let's just quickly draw these notes in. So you get to see how I sort of start a track and just creatively go through things. And I don't make melodic techno and house and stuff, so bear with me on this one. So I'm just going to label that kick so we can keep track of things. And I always do my percussion red. And we're going to sort out that issue. So I'm going to do one, two, three for this one. And I'm just going to sort out the length. So I'm going to use LFO tool. You can use Tal Filter too, which is free if you want to just simulate exactly the same thing. It's just easier to teach you with LFO tool because we've got a nice visual. Okay, so if there's a little bit too much power in your kick, you can just create little notches like this and just shape it up. So it's going to sound a little bit weird, but let's just leave that as it is. Again, you can use a different EQ if you want to. I'm using Pro Q3. You can use things like uh, TDR Nova. That is free uh, and does very, very simply the same thing as Pro Q3. Roll off there. So I'm very crudely just putting these in here. I'm just trying to get an idea and a feel for the sound and getting into the mindset, listening to some of the genre that you're trying to create beforehand helps massively as well. All right, so let's just try some loops from the same pack for now. I want something that's got quite a choppy groove to it. Just looking for something that's a bit choppier. All right, so we'll take that one. As long as we've got that selected, so this little icon here, it'll keep everything in time with the project. So when you drag it in, it'll be already timed perfectly. Okay, that sounds good. So let's add that to another track there. And let's just pick one more for now.
Okay, we're going to have that in there as well. I just want another choppy one. That's for sort of a transition. So maybe put that there for now. And finally, this one sounds good as well. So let's add that in there. Right, so we got three loops. Uh, let's just drag that down. And let's just focus on one bar for a second. All right, so we've got a good starting point. So how I visualize this is I don't want the loops as they are. Uh, we want to create little bits of chops in there and gaps in the loops aren't going to be too detrimental because we've got other ones to fill those gaps in and it's just going to help the choppiness of it and just give it some more groove. So let's take a listen to the first one and see what we've got. But we'll leave that alone for now. I want to find ones with a bit of percussion in like this one. So we don't want that constant monotony through. It sounds like it's stuck on a loop. So let's just narrow this down to quantize and select one beat. And let's have it at the end maybe. So we've got something like this. Just have a little bit of a fade there and a fade there. Okay, that's sounding good. Let's have a listen to it with this one. Sounding much better already. You can hear that we're creating something a little bit more unique, but at the same time in that sort of clamped style, which is melodic techno. So let's listen to what we've got with this third one. Okay, so it's sounding okay. Let's just chop that down a little bit. So I'm going to get rid of, I'm just going to turn on, turn off the snapping, sorry. So I hit J on the keyboard just to get rid of these. I'm just loosely chopping them out here. So I don't have any hats on the beats. And now let's just see how that sounds. Okay. And I'm just going to grab all of these and just put a little fade in. I'm not really too fussed about how precise they are. And then if we put this one in. And then we can go in and turn these levels down. So uh, instead of opening the mixer, I'll just turn the fader here. That's roughly where I want it. All right, so we're going to swap the kick out now. I can hear that it just needs something a little bit different. So we can go back into kicks, big kicks. And we can obviously preview these as we go along. quite nicely. So obviously we've got the original F LFO shape here, so let's just have a listen to what we've got. So I'm just trying to stop it for the offbeat there. It's just kind of a guideline really what I'm doing. Okay, so the first things that I'm going to do is jump into the inserts, choose an EQ where you can roll off the lows. It can be Cubase's internal one if you want. And I'm just going to roll off the highs, or roll off the lows, should we say. Look how much low information is coming through there. What do you know the mix? Keep it nice and clean. It's going to be the same for this one because I don't want too much of that sort of lower mid detail. Aim it down. I 
gentle roll on the top. And then the same for our final one. Look how much low detail is coming through on here. Absolutely revolting. Okay, so we've got a general tidy up there. We've got a general tidy on the kick as we put this roll off here. I'm just going to make it a bit steeper. So it's a little bit too smooth on the top, but for now we've got the general idea. So we can then work on making a base and let's make our transition with this as well, actually. Then on bar. Let's just say we have four bars. Let's just have that roll in. Let's just do a, a gentle thing like that. And I'm going to bring the level down a bit more. It's probably already down. Perfect. So we could technically do that. Let's have that on that one. Maybe just have one kick off that. And then every eight bars, we have a nice. All right, so for the base, I'm gonna use the new Born to Produce pack that I made. Link in the description if you want to go and grab that pack. And some of these bases are pretty decent for this sort of stuff. This one. Let's try that one. So I'm going to copy the kick over so we've got some pace. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the base here. on yeah i'm already hearing the audio demo i did for this pack with that bass sound so we could have something let's have something quite repetitive and simple with a little embellishment towards the end like that maybe Okay, so nice and simple, keep it simple to start with, and then we can obviously develop the idea. No idea where this is going, it's just something to show you how I go through that process. So I'm going to bring some quantize up here on the swing, so using the quantizer in the MIDI inserts, uh, use any way to obviously create groove in yours, but it's going to offset it and swing it a little bit, so this last note will sound a little bit more in with the rhythm. Obviously, if I was to do something like that, you'd hear that swing a lot more. As opposed to off. So I'm just going to have that like so. Maybe have an offbeat there as well. Listen. Okay, so we've got that. I'm not too fussed for that with this particular track at the moment. So let's try a second bass. I'm just duplicating this and I'm going to choose a different bass preset. Let's have a look. Your presets won't be so far down in the preset browser. I've just had an issue where it returns the date to 1984, uh, which is always good. But when you import the pack, that won't happen. So let's try Gritty Low. 
Let's try that one. I'm just going to mute that one. Maybe just try something seesawing back and forth. something like that maybe get rid of that one Hearing the power where I don't want power, where I don't want any sort of boxiness. I think it's this area. I don't want to take that much power out of it, I just want to control it. Let's have a look at what we can use to shape this sound. So we've got filter depth, tone, mute, sub, and presence. Obviously we're changing the tone of that which will probably move a few of the frequencies and how intense they are. It's quite a ringy tone so I'm going to be happy with that edit for now. So I'm just trying to get it into the ballpark area so we've got some nice sound. So let's have a listen to that with all our little extras on. Put them in, let's get rid of that. And in fact we haven't set that there. So if you've got samples chopped up and they're not sort of rendered out to fit the bar and the slightly off beat here and there, just copy it with something that is already on the beat. Okay, so that's starting to sound really good. I can hear ideas and that's when you know you're on the right track when ideas start to flow. Uh, just go with it, just keep putting things in, see if it works, take it away. And obviously now I can hear a clap. So I'm gonna go for a classic. As you can see, I'm using the same pack as well. It's quite natural. Sounding. So let's add that in. So I'm going to put this at the top. So I'm just going to co go through and color all these actually as well so we can see where our percussion lies. And obviously I'm going to change that to clap. That is the clap there. Let's have one there. And then this is where our claps are going to come in. So let's just repeat that section. So we're only drawing so many. One, two, and I'm just going to check the level of this. Obviously you can go to your mixer, but it's on another screen that you can't see. So fade it down a bit. Perfect, so I'm going to copy those across. And a little thing that I like to do with the audio inserts on this is use a little bit of transient shaping. So you can use what you want, but I do like the simplicity of the kilohertz transient shaper here. And you can see we've just got attack, pump and sustain. We have a couple of extra things down here, but attack is going to give you a nice click on the start of your sample. The pump is going to sound like you've put some compression on it and sustain is going to tell you how much of that clap after part you hear. Let's do this extreme.
You can hear how that's controlling that. So I'm going to return these back to where they were, increase the attack and maybe a bit of pump. We'll see how it sounds. Then I'm going to further process this using a volume shaper. You can see it's on one quarter. We could do half beats on this one, I think. Beats. Just prefer it when I can see it on the second beat because that represents where it is in the track. So entirely up to you how you want to do that. how sort of sharp that clap is. And then just use any EQ you want. I'm going to go for the Mag EQ 4 because I know it sounds nice and crispy. So I'm going to turn the air band on. just bringing it out a little bit and we've got the clap seated. So if we've listened to 16 bars of this, can see it's starting to get a lot nicer. So there we are, we have the startings of a track and just the sort of things that I go through and how I'm not really thinking too technically about from cleaning up certain areas of the track. So hopefully that's give you a nice insight. If you want to see me continue on this track, let me know in the comments and obviously drop a like on the video so I can see that you actually enjoyed this new content. And with that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.